Hi, this is Greg with California GSP Rescue, and I'm on my way to a shelter that we don't go to a lot. The last time I went there was probably about four years ago to rescue a older senior dog no one was interested in. This dog is much younger than I'm going to look at today. We've gotten at least 10 to 12 notifications, messages about letting us know there's a dog at the shelter. I wasn't optimistic that we would be able to get them, get the dog because of the interest they usually have, adoption interest they have. However, during the holiday season, that interest has waned like so many other places and they are, they are struggling with the number of dogs they have. I reached out to them. They said they would appreciate us assisting them. Again, it frees up a kennel, and that kennel can be used for another animal, another breed, a mixed breed, which there's plenty of mixed breeds and other dogs available right now. I just got food this morning, and I was real close to the shelter. I wish I had called and made it one stop shop but I'm on my way back. A lot of traffic today. It's a holiday season, so I'm looking at spending about twice as long on the road as normal. Just arrived to the shelter, and we're about to go in and see the dogs they have in the shelter and kennels. Uh, some of these guys have been here a while, so we'll, we'll get some information on the dogs that we're not getting, as well as the dog we're getting. And just noticing these really nice, these are socializing areas. They got a real high fence that keeps the dogs from jumping out, but nice, these are really nice. So we just picked up Helen and we don't have a Helen and it's not typically a German Shorter Pointer name, but we're gonna keep Helen. No treats. So you saw in the kennel, she was very afraid. And as soon as she got out, she was excited. Just between a year and two years old, possibly has had a litter. You can look at the, her tits there. She's not spayed, we're gonna have to get her spayed. They, she'll need a rabies, they didn't have a, they don't do rabies at this shelter. Interesting fact, the, the supervisor in charge, the animal control supervisor charged with the rescues, is actually somebody we've done, worked with before when she was at another shelter. However, as I mentioned, we don't get a lot of German Shredder pointers from this particular shelter. It just so happened that there's nobody interested. And you see the number of dogs. Their kennels are full with the exception of a couple, probably, hopefully adoptions. I don't like to think about the alternative, but um, just not a lot of people adopting around the holidays. And the dogs keep coming in, the strays keep coming in. She was a stray. Sweet girl, sweet, sweet girl. So real quick, <laughs> she wants attention. She wants attention, such a sweetie. I uh, gotta thank the Rescue Heroes. Thank you very much for doing everything you've done for us this past year. This has been a challenging year. I've said it before, I can't say it enough. Uh, we greatly appreciate everything you've done. Just got food earlier today, and we'll be feeding the dogs for the next four weeks with the food that we were able to purchase today from the Rescue Heroes. Thank you, thank you very much. We have several initiatives planned for this coming year, 2023. We wanna do things a little different. Uh, see the, we see the need where we cannot continue. We're only focused on one breed and there needs to be some other um, education done on a, a wider scale and we are going to take part in that. So we look for the things to come. We have a couple things we plan to roll out and hopefully in the next couple months. I want to thank the adopters. You guys have made so much happened. You've helped us save so many dogs. Without the adopters, we are not a sanctuary. We need those adopters. So even if you're not interested in adopting Helen, please like and share the video. This will get her seen and hopefully that forever home will come and put the application in, go through the process, come out and meet her and see what a great dog she is. Of course, during that time, that, that whole time while we're getting her spayed and her shots, her rabies shot, we'll be doing some evaluations. We'll check her out with some other dogs. We'll see how she is uh, with, with cats and just been left alone and see how she does. How does she do when um, on a run or a walk? Like, is she good on a leash? Those th types of 
things that will help adopters um, make the right decision, get a dog they can manage. And always something to consider. How are you going to exercise your German Shorter Pointer or your dog, a Husky, or any one of the active breeds, a, a Vichler or a Weimarer? They need exercise. And if you're thinking about getting one, think, how are you going to exercise it? And is that the time you have every day? Because they don't know it's Saturday or Sunday or Monday. They don't have a day off. They want to go every day and exercise. She's not interested. These are great treats. We, we buy these with the help of the rescue heroes and we cut them up to make them economical, make it more uh, so we can get more out of them. She does not know. This is the chicken jerky strips from Costco. They come in strips about this long. We cut them up into little bitty ones like this. She doesn't know, the dogs don't know, and it saves us quite a bit because I can give her three or four of these. She smells them. There we go. And she's thin. She can use them. <laughs> Thank you again, guys. We got some more videos coming. There are dogs in shelters. We're going to get them out. Uh, the German Shorter Pointers. We're going to make room for the other breeds that are not as popular, the mixed breeds. And if anybody is interested in adopting one of the German Shorter Pointers, please put an application in. Submit it from our website. That will get you the process begin rolling. And if you are interested in adopting any breed, look on the website, look online. Google that breed and find a breed specific rescue or find them at the shelter. If you're capable of managing a lot of different issues, go ahead and get them from the shelter. But realize each dog's gonna have a little bit different issues and challenges and you may not know how to meet those challenges. It's great going through a rescue so you have some foundation and some support. We strongly recommend supporting your local rescues because most of those rescues, majority of them, are going out and getting those dogs that are not uh, easily adopted or if they are adopted, they're, they're challenging to manage. So consider that. Yes, you can go to the shelter and right now is a good time, but if, it's, if there's any challenges, those, those might be difficult for you to manage. Thank you again. See you at the next video. Right, Helen? Such a sweetheart. Oh my God, who's not looking for this dog? Oh.